Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is footy grand final day, Saturday, uh, September, what is it? Saturday, September 28th, grand final day. So everyone is heading down to the uh, whatever stadium, MCG, for the footy grand final. Richmond versus GWS. I don't follow football, so I don't really know much about it. Uh, but yeah, that's what's happening around, uh, around Melbourne today. Uh, but I've got to go to work tonight, so it's just me hanging out in the apartment today. I'm bored as hell. Same as last week. Might go outside for a little bit. What do you reckon? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Hello. Welcome. So I'm outside. Just got to, uh, I don't know where I am. Uh, somewhere near the Brighton Beach Boxes. But I thought it better to get out of the apartment today and go for a walk because why not I'm at lovely beach you can see the Brighton bath houses over there in the background you probably can't it's a bit far away but yeah just hanging out just chilling how are you guys been hope you guys have been well over the last week everyone's out having a nice lovely stroll along the uh, lovely green beach I haven't been down here before. Some funky, funky ass trees and everything. It's awesome. Awesome little place over this way. My camera is shaking like crazy for some reason. I don't know. Ah. Lovely. You know what? I haven't talked about my new camera setup that I got. My brand new camera setup. I bought the other day. Yeah, let's talk about it. So, my, my camera setup that I got, um, I got from a guy on Facebook from the Facebook Marketplace, dead cheap. So I, I messaged him, because um, he was selling, I think, the whole kit for about, uh, I think it was $1,200 or something like that. And I was like, oh, you know, mate, do you reckon you might be able to sell it for a little bit cheaper? And he's like, no, you know, $1,200 is a great deal, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I went back to him about three weeks later, and I said to him, mate, you know, is there any chance that you can still sell it? You know, you haven't sold it yet. Would you sell it for a thousand bucks? He was like, fine, thousand dollars. So from that a thousand dollars, I got um, a new camera. I got two ND filters. I got uh, a video uh, microphone from it, tripod, everything, man, for a thousand dollars. Retail price, if it was only brand new, it was nearly worth about two and a half thousand dollars, which is insane. So I got all that stuff for a thousand bucks. And he'd only used it for like four weeks. So hell yeah. So this is the stuff that I've been recording on for like the last few videos and the video that I'm obviously recording on now. And yeah. <laughs> oh well, I got a good deal. cool would it actually be to live along the water? You can probably see just up the top there. It's a whole heap of houses and stuff like that. Super expensive, but one day it'd be nice. One day it'd be really nice to live along the water, but that's okay. I'm happy with my one bedroom apartment at this point. <laughs> Living alone with my cat. Oh, for such a lovely day out today. Awesome sunset beautiful water not too hot but also not too cold which is good oh. doing some fancy ass rock climbing struggling through the rocks at the moment 
Woo! Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Bloody nearly slipped. So I'm on the way back to the car. Just realized that my parking ticket is nearly, nearly done in three minutes. And God knows the parking inspector is probably coming around. The last time I parked down at this area, I didn't buy a ticket and I was hit with an $83 friggin' fine. So that was joyful. I enjoyed that. That was great. $83 that I really didn't really have and that I just spent on a parking fine. So that was great. I loved it. Anyway, back to the car, going to back, back to the apartment. Anyway, thanks guys for coming out of the apartment today and going for a walk. Um, just wanted to get it out of the house, go before I start work later tonight. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Short video again, I know, but I really don't have time at the moment. I'm doing like 56 hours a week at work and it's just really killing me at the moment. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Enjoy the rest of your night, day, whatever it is. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video below. See you guys. Bye. All right. So I just got home and I was scrolling through Facebook and I come across a post from um, a friend of mine, almost a family member at this point. And it was in relation to um, Greta Thornburg's um, UN address. Um, she talked about climate change and stuff like that and blaming the generations before us for all the um, stuff that's wrong. His response to her was basically uh, to that snotty-nosed kid who read her speech out at the United Nations the other day. Don't you dare put the blame on the older generations. Sit back and do a bit of research, you little girl. It's hilarious, all these school kids preaching to us that the oldies that bug it up the planet. Back in the 60s and 70s, not a plastic bottle was seen and was all glass that was reused. Fizzy drink bottles were taken back to the shops, no plastic bags, loose food, brown paper bags, all sweets and biscuits were brought in in bulk and put in a paper bag. Mothers used shopping trolleys to carry around heavy stuff or used a linen bag. No Woolworths, no Coles, McDonald's or Burger King giving away plastic toys to grab the almighty dollar. No polystyrene food boxes for you to litter the streets with. We also used newspapers to wrap our hot food in. Our milk was delivered at 5 a.m. seven days a week if we weren't raised on a farm. So I think these youngsters need to take a look in a recycled mirror and think is it my wasteful generation who are effing up the planet or our mums and dads who cater to our every want whim and whinge look i responded to that and i said is it not the generations though that decided to move away from plastic bottles to introduce plastic bags instead of paper bags to stop delivering milk and picking it up and to create plastic toys for our generations to have fun with, to make our lives easier and more convenient. It was a mistake by the generations from before, not our generation. I do understand that it is our generation, majority of the time, now littering the streets, but to blame us for the stuff that was created for us is not our fault. I do, however, feel that it is our job to make this mistake rectified. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Anyway, see you later.